By 9 o'clock, still cooling quickly, back down to about 65 degrees. Clear skies at 11, back down to about 63. And then those temperatures will continue to fall. And we'll wake up tomorrow morning again, a little bit warmer than what we saw this morning. Not expecting the 30s out in Ocala like we saw this morning. Should get down to about 41 degrees. 48 in the Villages should reach an overnight low of 50 in Deland, 54 in Sanford, 55 in Biflo. And expecting to wake up tomorrow morning close to 60 there in Titusville. As we take a look at the attractions forecast for tomorrow, again, it's looking like another picture perfect day. Cool and crisp, 60 degrees at 9 o'clock. But then again, yes, we do warm up rather quickly. And by noon, back up to 71, 5 o'clock. Very pleasant out there. Temperature back down to about 75 degrees after reaching daytime highs in the mid to upper 70s. So again, cooler compared to where we should be. Average high is 84. We're going to get up to about 77 in Orlando. Should reach a daytime high in the mid 70s along the coast. Mid to upper 70s out towards the west in Ocala. After waking up a little bit cooler, we'll only warm back up to about 74 degrees. So uh, as we go through the weekend, High pressure is going to build in. That's going to keep us less humid. It's also going to keep us nice and dry and cool. As we head towards Sunday, we'll watch out for just the slightest chance for a few showers along the coast, though. Most of us should remain dry, which is good for our river levels. Uh, still dealing with major flooding at St. John's above Lake Harney and near Sanford. Uh, minor flooding in St. John's near Coco and up towards the north here. Uh, ba finally back down to moderate flood level there at St. John's at Astor, but only by a little bit. Again, four foot and above is major flooding in Astor. And so we're just shy of that major flood stage. As we go towards Sunday, though, river level of Coco back to normal. So again, there are some bright spots in the river level forecast, though many of us are still going to be dealing with flooding as we go over the next few weeks. Sunday by 2 o'clock, St. John's at Sanford should finally be back below major flood stage. And as we take a look at Astor again, moderate right now, but you notice it's hanging right around that four foot mark as we go towards Monday afternoon. So so still flirting with that major flood stage line. Again, it's going to take some time for those rivers to drain. As we go over the next seven days, we do have drier weather, though, to help. Saturday, uh, 82 degrees, plenty of sunshine. Sunday, again, a 10% chance for rain, mostly along the coast at high of 83 degrees. And then we're right back into the mid to almost upper 80s as we head from Tuesday on, with scattered rain chances returning as we head towards Wednesday.